I get emails from uh, potential customers wanting to know about the different designs that I make. Often the questions take the format of what is the difference between this and that. And I've made these videos to partly save us from typing out the same answers all the time. I can just give people a link, they can watch the video, and if they can understand my accent, then uh, they'll be hopefully satisfied with the answers. The difference between my two soundboard designs, the SS, which is a standard soundboard, and the HO, which stands for how warm, which is a cylinder top soundboard. What's the difference in them sonically? Um, difficult to answer when if you don't have two identical guitars, you know, like if you've got a Model C and a Model S, one of them's a cylinder top, the other one's a, a standard soundboard. They might have different materials. Uh, so you're comparing apples and oranges. What you'd need to compare the two designs are two guitars. Uh, the same model, the same materials you'd need, the um, same tops, the same back and sides, the same neck, the same everything. Ideally, what you'd have is two identical soundboards, soundboards that were cut uh, from the same piece of wood consecutively. Um, even then, you've still got to measure uh, the qualities of the soundboards to make sure that they're, they're not totally different. Um, and that's what I've done. I've, I've made a pair of guitars from uh, matching woods. This is, um, this is one of them. This is a standard soundboard. Model S, uh, SS, standard soundboards. It has a quilted sapili uh, back and sides. And it's uh, the double sides that I do. It's laminated with uh, bird's eye maple on the inside. Uh, the soundboard is uh, Italian spruce. I, I bought these tops in 2006 or seven. I can't remember which. I was just a young lad. Um, I bought so the the tops are up and they're consecutive of, of the two guitars. Uh, the fingerboard and bridge on both guitars is is rock light, which is an engineered wood, very homogeneous. Uh, you're not going to get any variations between one bit of rock light and the next. The neck on both guitars is this lovely stuff that they sell here in Australia, that, which they call Pacific, Pacific Maple. It's not maple, I can tell you that much. It's much more like a, a lightweight mahogany. I really like it. Um, the head veneers are, are rock light again. All my guitars have got the, the back strap on for, for strength and for a bit of a uh, well it looks nice doesn't it so the difference between the two guitars oh i'll show you the other one the other one is also uh sapili back and sides from exactly the same log is uh, the standard soundboard the sides are all from the same board the soundboard is the next soundboard from the log uh, of spruce uh, the neck is from the same plank uh, of Pacific maple. The veneers, the fingerboards, the binding, the bridge, it's all rock light. Um, everything's the same. The difference is, is that this guitar, which is very easy to see on the cylinder top, has this pronounced hump in the middle, which allows you to take the top quite a bit thinner than you would do on a, on a regular guitar. Um, actually, the bracing pattern on the two guitars is identical. Uh, what the material uh, I use for bracing is identical on the two guitars. Um, the only difference is that has a cylinder top in this. Don't know if you can see, but that is curved. It's much more curved than a regular guitar. Um, this is very much based on what I used to make when I worked for Stefan Sobel. It's uh, Sobel guitars are not made like any other guitar. They're not built with a, a flat soundboard or a guitar or a top with a, what's called a, sp 
built in a spherical format where the top is a section of a sphere. The sewer bell is different. It's an arched uh, soundboard arched across the sphere um, with some um, variation. It's not a straightforward shape. It's difficult to describe. Um, smash art. But this is the um, this is the experiment. What's the difference between the two designs? Um, so I'm gonna play a bit of guitar. You're in for a treat. Uh, I'm gonna play a bit, bit of guitar. I'm gonna play them both in dadgad and in standard tuning. And I'm gonna play them both with uh, a pick and with me fingers. Yeah. Well, you'll know which one you prefer. That will be a sort of um, emotional response, preference. Um, but I'll go. We can talk a bit at the end about what I think, and it might be uh, in accordance with what you think. It, it might not. But um, I get on with the get on with the music. <laughs>
so. Conclusion time. Well, I would say the big difference um, to my ear is that the standard soundboard, the one based on a sewer bell, um, has a much stronger mid, which is what you'd expect. Um, that's what sewer bells are famous for, that, boom, that power in the middle, um, which makes it really good for any drop tunings. You don't get any muddiness, uh, which you can do with a lot of guitars, a lot of conventional guitars. You drop them down to D and um, they just sound muddy. No one's ever going to say a sewer bell sounds muddy. So if you're a, a dad gal player or, or down to see, um, it's definitely something to think about. It, it, um, it's a really good design for that. Um, the cylinder top, however, has more bass. It's a fuller, warmer, rounder bass. It's a more conventional sound in, in some ways. Um, and there's plenty of it. There's, um, neither guitar has a a problem with what they call headroom. They, they don't break up. Um, if you're a strong player with the, with the right hand, either would suit you. I would say this, the SS would probably have the edge um, because it's a stiffer sort of design that you can really drive um, a lot before you're gonna get any problems. As for what suits finger picking and plectrum, that's much harder to say. Um, uh, Sewer Bell is considered to be a finger style guitar. Martin Simpson. However, Ian Stevenson plays my Model S, which is a standard soundboard. Um, he plays with a plectrum and it sounds superb. Um, it's a lot of it depends on you being honest with yourself and with me about how strong a player you are uh, with, with the picking hand. Um, if you're a very strong player, I would suggest, as a finger style player, I would suggest the SS soundboard. If you're a, a normal human being, uh, the, the cylinder top, I mean, Tom Fletcher is one of the finest finger style guitarists on the planet. Um, and he has a, a Model S with a cylinder top, uh, an SHO. It sounds fantastic. And I think, I don't think Tom should play um, an SS. He'd be much better off, he is better off the guitar he's got. Um, so which one suits you? That comes down to a conversation between, between us. But uh, as to what the main difference is, it's more mid on the SS and more bass on the HO. So um, I hope that's helpful to those of you who are wondering.